Hi, in this quick vid for the Stratton Payne Custom Shop, we're having a look at this BC Rich V-shaped electric guitar. When this one came into us, it was already in pretty, pretty much a good condition. It had not really been played, uh, but we put it through the workshop anyway. So, first things first. It's got this tribal pattern on there, very good. Um, but when we stripped it down, first of all, we check the electrics, make sure that's all sounding good. Uh, it's all wired up securely, and, and that was fine. Um, Let's see, these electrics, what we've got here. This is the overall volume control, and this is an overall tone control as well. So it works for both uh, pickups. This is the pickup selector switch. So in this position here, it's just using the neck pickup. In the middle position, it's using both pickups, and in the bottom position, just the bridge pickup there. So what have we done in the custom shop? Well, there was a tiny little uh, spot here that we filled in with some enamel paint. Um, the rest of it is pretty good all around. Once we've polished it down, um, I set about setting it up. So, I had a look at the playing surface. On this particular guitar, I used Rotosound 11s, uh, chunky strings. Again, because it's got a hardtail here, um, I think they're good for this guitar. And the chunky strings would be good for drop tuning uh, for metal and so. And it's already set up fine, so if you did just uh, want to drop, drop the string there, it's, it'd still be absolutely fine. So, I had a look at the neck, um, the bow of the neck, and the truss rod adjustment is in here. And I did just uh, pull it up about three or four fraction turns, and just to flatten the neck down a bit. So it's about as flat as it can be there, um, but short, but still with every note being able to play. Now, the bridge system on this one is a wraparound system. So you put the strings through there, wraps around over these string spacers, um, and you tie it on top. And you can fully adjust the action and the playability of this guitar um, here with the pole pieces. So by turning them here, you're going to lower or raise the height of the strings at the bridge end. So you can lower the action there. Um, and this one is spot on now. Um, also, we have a look at the intonation of uh, the guitar. That's uh, making sure every note plays true. And you can do that by adjusting the, the length of the strings here. Um, and so when, you want it, when you've got it playing uh, open E, you want it uh, E on the 12th, and you also want it E on the 24th. So we can check that um, and we can adjust it with these grommets on the back so we can pull uh, the bridge back and forth until it's perfect for every note. So um, when it comes to the Flying V, uh, the V style guitar, it's a bit awkward to hold. So I kind of like, like to prop it um, between the leg, you can even get in there and give it a, give it a bit of leg cuddle. Um, but of course this guitar has uh, the strap buttons on. So you, you can put the strap on there and then it's going to be a bit easier to play. So there we go. This one's, this one's done and ready to go. Uh, BC Rich V Guitar.